a new lake water not lava on Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. Between 2010 and 2018, a large lava lake bubbled and spattered within Kilauea's summit caldera. Then in May 2018, as part of a broader eruption that poured lava from fissures to the east, the lake swiftly drained and part of the caldera floor collapsed. This left a hole nearly as deep as one World Trade Center. But that was not all Pell had in store. For about a year, the much deeper and wider Hale Mayumayu crater was relatively quiet. But in July 2019, helicopter pilots began to notice water pooling into a pond in the lowest part of the crater. Water levels have risen steadily ever since. Today, the lake, now with a rusty brown sheen on its surface due to chemical reactions taking place in the water, has an area larger than five football fields combined and a maximum depth of roughly 30 meters. When the lava lake was present, it appeared in the southeast part of Hale Mayumayu, though a crust of partially solidified lava on its surface made it appear grey from above. The circular light grey area with a thin plume of volcanic emissions rising from it marks the location of the lake. After the caldera collapse, the terrain surrounding the lake changed dramatically, including the formation of a new 140-meter cliff, thin dark line, north of the crater. In the final image, the pond on the summit appears small from Landsat's perspective, 30 meters per pixel. The photograph at the bottom of the page, taken on April 21, offers a better sense of scale. But that does not mean the next eruption will be explosive. The next eruption could happen slowly and the water could evaporate, he said. We do not want to be alarmist, but we also need to point out to the public that there is an increasing possibility of explosive eruptions at Kilauea. One thing is quite certain, geologists will be closely monitoring Kilauea and its new lake with every tool available, including seismometers, thermal cameras, drones, helicopter surveys, and satellites. Is the volcano in the process of reverting back to an explosive period that may last for centuries? Said Swanson. Or is this just a little blip, and we are going to return to quiet lava flows like we had during the 19th and 20th centuries? Only time will tell. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.